Let's learn how to automate the login into SAP with Python. So first, just make sure you have SAP GUI scripting enabled. So if you don't have, or if you don't know what is, make sure you watch the tutorial that will appear now on the top. And in second, make sure you have Python installed on your machine. I will use VS Code on this tutorial. If you will also make sure you install the Python extension, the Python one and also the Python debugger. So now let's create a new file, a new Python file. So I'll just do Control S to create the file. So let's define the name SAP underscore login dot py for Python. Let's get started by importing the libraries that we'll need. So we 32 COM is for interacting on this case with SAP interface. Sub process to execute the SAP logon executable to start SAP logon and time uh, to be able to add delays between the code. To make sure we are able to use uh, this library, let's open the terminal and run pip install pi v32. So we are able to use the library. So first step will be to start SAP logon. So for that, we'll use subprocess.popen. And now we have to pass the full path to the SAP logon executable. So let's get it. So here I'll open the file location and this is a shortcut. Let's get the executable full path. So here the SAP logon executable, I'll do a right click, copy as path and paste here. So by this way, we should be able to start SAP logon. So let's see if it works. So I'll click here to run the file. And here you can see that SCP logon was started successfully. Now to be able to connect to SCP GUI script engine so we can automate on it further, let's add the following code. So on this line, we are basically getting the reference to the SCP GUI scripting object. And on this one, we are retrieving the scripting engine that will allow us to perform actions on the SCP GUI. So let's close SAP logon and see what will happen. So we can see that we got an exception and the reason is that SAP logon takes some time to start. And so as we don't have here any wait, any delay, uh, this line of code tries to get the reference to the SAP GUI scripting object when it's not available. So here to simplify, let's add time.sleep and let's add a five for five seconds. And now if we close SAP logon and do the execution again, we will see that we'll not get any exception. So now the next step is to open here the available connection. So then will appear the login screen. For that, let's add the following line of code. So here we are basically opening the connection available here, which is the one called SAP. So if you have a connection with other name, just make sure you put here the name of your connection. So now let's see what happens. So I'll close SAP logon and execute again. And you can see that was opening the login screen from this connection. So now we have to fill here the logins fields such as client, user, password, and logon language. But before, we must get the session associated with the opened connection. So to get it, let's add the following line of code. So basically we are getting here the only available session that was started from the connection. So after this, we are able to interact here with the login fields. So to populate the login fields, let's add the following code. So on the first line here, we are targeting the client field, the second, the user, third, the password, and the last, the language logon. Of course, ideally, we will store the user and the password on the keyboard, for example, but as this is just a demo tutorial, let's keep it simple. So basically, on this line of code, we are defining the field text and with the text that we are passing here. So let's see if it's working. So I'll just close SAP logon. 
and run the file. And it worked well. So now the next step is to send the enter key to submit the login. So for that, let's add the following line of code that sends basically to SCP window the enter key. So let's execute from the beginning. Let's save the Python file and let's run. And here you can see that it worked properly, so we are able to automate the login into SCP with Python. And that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you don't miss any SCP automation tutorial.